Hey Jordan, how are you doing? Mike Coughlin here. Absolutely fantastic work. Well impressed. That sounds so good. I just uh, played this a few times here in my studio and uh, there's uh, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Let's play that again from the start. And in fact, it sounds like something that, you know, is up there with uh, what you hear on, uh, on Beatport uh, now. It's really current really good choice of sounds really good attention to detail plenty of uh, plugins here in the mixer really good processing and uh, I like how it's uh, building up here the arrangement uh, in the first uh, sort of mix in section here before it goes into mini drop all sounds really really uh, well executed and then yeah I'm glad you bounced down these uh, two channels here there was a here a Nexus 2 which I don't have actually and there was one other one uh, the Nicky Romero kick I actually have so, so we can uh, no, no that way around so we can let that run live and um, there was one other one I think it was silent somewhere which I do have but not in 64 bit they should uh, release that uh, already it's still only 32 bit so only runs in uh, Logic 9 I know there's sort of like uh, 32 lives um, and sort of uh, converter programs like that but um, yeah that was the um, rising sound also sounds really really good so like I said really really good job let's uh, go through it in a little bit more detail here starting with the sidechain setup which comes from uh, Klopfgeist perfect short little trigger and then sending that to bus one and then there it fires away and we have that's a hat uh, where was the this kick them here was bounced to uh, audio hat kick and then I like how you sw uh, swap it over here to the, the Electro House kick. And layering it with a hi-hat as well. It's always a clever trick. Make it sort of come through in the mix a bit more. Makes all the difference. Now here inside the, uh, the Nicky Romero can also add the hi hat here, but it's got a little click there already. Love that plugin for kick drums. Then we have these toms. Now these toms here are um, they're obviously processed here really well too. Let's just cycle over them. But I saw that you're using a sample delay which is great for making things nice and wide in stereo but have to be careful with that sometimes uh, because you, you should always check how that comes through in mono insert a gain plugin at the end of the plugin chain and flip that to mono and then <laughs> the 
it doesn't sound quite so good anymore. So that's how it would sound on a sort of mono club system. A lot quieter and kind of a little bit phasey. So sometimes you can find sort of the correct setting of milliseconds where it still sounds sort of good in mono too. Sometimes that's really difficult though. So uh, I think sometimes it's, you know, uh, best to actually have a less stereo, but still mono uh, com compatible. So just have it like this. Still sounds uh, stereo enough on my headphones. Uh, similar thing here probably on this on this hi hat. Let's test that in mono. Get that sort of phasing thing too. There it is. Might be better like this, but yeah, also still quieter. So yeah. That's the thing with the um, sample delay plugin. Then uh, we have. Uh, I saw you did that sort of um, tonal snare thing that we were chatting about in the uh, chat room. That's the reverse clap. We'll find it somewhere. Yeah. Then lots and lots of uh, little effects. Snare, I meant very good. So, um, let's actually switch the limiter up here in the master. So, let's quite heavy uh, uh, load here on the master already. Mm, what I would do, let's have a look at the automation. Like this. Uh, if there's not, uh, there's, well, there's one channel here with volume automation. But I was going to say before you add any more volume automation, it's best to select all the uh, audio channels and all the instrument channels. Uh, like this, and then we just pull them all down until the master is sort of back in the yellow zone. So that's better. So that was, um, yeah, 560 dB uh, of gain reduction. Yeah, you don't, don't even need that limiter anymore for now. Um, then we have just these claps here. So three claps, that's great. One, two, three. And then they are being routed through a bus. And they have reverb on it too. Minute amount though. Just turn it up a bit. And then... Uh, ah, so when you use a reverb on a return channel, on a bus, uh, make sure the dry is set to zero. So you only, only want to hear the reverb coming back, not the actual claps again. 
Obviously, it was such a small amount, it wouldn't really be audible. Maybe a little bit more like this. And then on on the bus here, there's another sample delay. And EQing them will work. So the, the whole project is so really advanced. It's basically uh, week uh, six <laughs> kind of level here. And uh, you're only at the end of week two. So I really can't wait how this will sound at the end of this course. So uh, the I guess the intro is already sorted. And there's sort of a section here that you can extend. And then uh, looking forward to see what you do in the breakdown. And then create a, a build up. And yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be fantastic. So... Really good work and then uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Mm -hmm.